So last night, we told you about an Oklahoma state senator who says that sheriff's deputies don't get paid enough, which makes it harder to recruit and retain them. Yeah, today, county sheriffs in the state vouched for those deputies, saying they should be paid more. 5 News reporter Lauren Spencer tells us about a study the state senator held today to hear from those sheriffs and get ideas on how to fix that situation. I, I believe the number one function of government is public safety. If we don't have public safety, then we a lot of things are just will go awry. On Monday, State Senator Darrell Weaver listened to a number of county sheriffs who say it's very difficult to find deputies because of the salary competition on the local, state, and federal level. I can't compete with my convenience stores in Norwater County. I see signs on the billboard that say we're starting salary or starting hourly wages at $12 an hour. That's more than I pay in the jail. We've got to provide a livable wage to these young employees. People that want to emotionally invest in that agency and raise their kids and their babies and their grandbabies there in that county and stay with that sheriff's office, they're simply going to go leave because make no mistake about it, they'll quit you over 200 bucks a month and go down the street and be a gunslinger someplace else. A problem LaFleur County Sheriff Rodney Derryberry also sees that could lead to extreme staffing shortages. If we didn't have the personnel that we have right now, you know, for the for the area that we cover in the call volume, uh, it would put us in a situation to where we'd have to prioritize calls. We would have to lean on uh, other law enforcement even more. Senator Weaver says he's hoping to introduce some kind of legislation in the next legislative session in January that will help fund a more competitive salary. Hopefully this conversation will go forward and try to find some solutions uh, in this body to see something that I think is, is one of the most compelling issues we have in state government right now. Covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News.